All right, so now that the Pocket Cinema camera records in a RAW or Cinema DNG format, uh, there's a couple of different ways you can color correct these uh, images. Now, DaVinci is probably the best solution, but um, some people who shoot with the Canon DSLRs and Magic Lantern, they actually use um, uh, Adobe Photoshop or Camera Raw. Uh, and let me show you what that looks like. Here I have a sequence of DNG files from the Pocket Cinema camera. So um, this is a dialog open from Photoshop. So I'm just going to select all of them and then I'm just going to hit open. And then you'll see what happens here. It brings up this uh, camera raw window and you get to see all the images here on the left hand side. Um, so what you could do at this point is just tweak your exposure, uh, your contrast. Maybe we we'll want to change uh, some of the tint and the temperature here. Um, and you know you basically go through these settings here and once you're done you can say select all synchronize here's all your settings that you're going to choose hit OK and then the bottom here you're gonna hit save images and it'll export it to a folder as an image sequence and you bring that into your editor and there you go you're done you've color corrected your cinema DNG files and uh, you're ready to edit with that now there's another way to do this um, a way that I prefer because I kinda don't like the tabs here in Camera Raw. Um, you know you gotta go back and forth and uh, I'm just not that quick at it and I kinda don't like the the interface. I actually prefer to use Adobe Lightroom but the problem with using Adobe Lightroom and exporting those Cinema DNG files is it's really slow. It's, it's a dog. Uh, the Camera Raw in Adobe Photoshop is actually much faster. So Here's a little tip that I just wanted to share is how you can use Lightroom to color correct or color grade your image and then save that as a Adobe profile. And then once you have that profile, you can basically use that into Camera Raw, uh, whether you're using Photoshop or maybe even After Effects, uh, I believe it will work. And you can apply all of your, your profile, your color changes from Adobe Lightroom. So we're gonna go through that right now. So let me just cancel this right here and open up uh, Adobe Lightroom. All right, so here we are in Adobe Lightroom and I, you see I have two Cinema DNG files here. One is shot overexposed, one is underexposed. I'm gonna start with this underexposed one and uh, we're just gonna go into the develop module. And this is what I like about Lightroom. It's just, it's easy and it's simple. Um, I especially like the thing, uh, the noise reduction in here works really, really well. Uh, sharpening, um, so anyways, I'm just gonna Let's jump to auto here real quickly. Um, let's boost up some of this exposure, bring back some of these shadows, maybe uh, add some vibrance, oops, vibrance and some saturation. Um, you know, you can pretty much do whatever you want in Lightroom. Um, I like Lightroom. So here's your hue and saturation. Uh, Here's your sharpening, so we'll throw up some sharpening. You notice it says 48 here, noise reduction, we'll throw that up. You notice that says 32. Lens correction, if you're using certain lenses, um, you can correct distortion in those lenses. Uh, so anyways, you get to kind of play around and really tweak your image, and you know I like this interface much better. So now we want to apply this to all of our images. So what we're gonna do is create a profile, or a, um, yeah, so, um, what we do is we're going to export this, so we're going to choose export, and the key to this is saving it as a DNG file. There you go, DNG out of Lightroom. This is going to keep all of our settings, all of our raw settings, so this will create that profile for us that we can apply um, in the other Adobe products. So let me export this, um, I believe it's going to my desktop. Export, and we will overwrite all right, so now we go back into Adobe Photoshop and we will open that uh, DNG file that I just saved out of Lightroom. So here I have the image open here in uh, Camera Raw. And this is the one that I've toyed around with in Lightroom. Uh, and don't, don't worry about how it looks. I was just kind of showing you an example here. But if we jump over to some of these tools, you see sharpenings at 48, noise reductions at 32. Um, and then you can see where our exposure, temperature, and everything was set. So this is bringing in all of those settings from Lightroom. So that's kind of cool. You get to do everything in there. So once you have this set up the way you, you like it, uh, we're going to save this. So we'll do save settings. 
and here's all the different settings that you can save and you notice that it has lens profile corrections that's the one with the distortion uh, color noise and, and noise reduction and sharpening and it has everything in here so it's it's really bringing in everything that you did in Lightroom so we're just gonna save this <clears throat> I'll call this BMC profile and save it and that's it we're gonna hit cancel out of this now we want to bring all those images back in from that sequence that we were working with. So let me bring that back up. Do file and open. So the image that I worked on previously uh, came from this image sequence here. So what I'm going to do is just select all of them and um, open it up. And you'll notice that all the images here again on the left hand side are the underexposed images. So at this point, we've already done our corrections in Lightroom, so we're just going to click on this and say Load Settings. And we're going to choose the uh, profile, I believe this is the one, and hit Load. And you'll notice it applied our corrections here. So here's our exposure, going back to our sharpening, it's at 48, noise reduction 32, so it's just bringing everything in. At this point, you're just going to do Select All, you're going to hit Synchronize, hit OK and it's going to apply it to every frame in this image sequence. Once that's done, you just hit Save Images, and that will bring up this dialog where you export it to whatever desktop or whatever file location you want, and you have your image sequence color corrected or color graded ready to go into your editor. So that's just kind of a tip on how you can bring an Adobe Lightroom profile into other Adobe products, and that's all done, uh, again, by creating a DNG file from Lightroom. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys if you don't want to dive into DaVinci and you just kind of want to do some color correction or color editing uh, in Lightroom. You can create your little profiles and then you can apply it um, you know, afterwards. So for more information about this stuff or if you have any questions, check it out, cheesycam.com.